So everybody give it up for the end of this. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. I want to get started by saying it's a pleasure to get anybody on a holiday weekend to get out of their house, get away from their families, because you guys are so in tune with trying to improve your lives. And we're hoping today we can share some things with you guys. Most people don't leave their lives. They just accept it. Now I'm from New York City. We're a big fan of Jay-Z. Anybody ever been to Harlem? Anybody in New York? As we're in Harlem, like I said, we're in my stomping grounds. Let me give you guys a little history lesson. Behind me, you'll see a building here named after Adam Clayton Powell, guys. This guy was significant about a lot of growth that happened with economic growth in the black community here in Harlem. Helped with a lot of the school systems we have here today. What's funny is the guy started out as a reverend and he moved into politics to help out the black community. He was, he was usually given a hard time because he was a very high complexion biracial looking brother, but he really stood for the black communities and all the kids here in Harlem. Little known secret that most people here know, but they don't talk about it. Bumpy Johnson, notorious gang member, affiliated with drugs and heroin in Harlem, worked with Ed, Adam Clayton Powell to get him on the ballot, guys. They galvanized all the black people here in Harlem, all the way uptown to the Bronx to get people to vote to get this brother elected. First brother we had that even get into Congress in the Senate seat right here in Harlem, guys. Take a look at the building. We got the statue over there to honor him. We're gonna walk over there too, guys. How many people notice that most people just accept what's in front of them? Yeah. I tell people all the time, it goes beyond business when it comes to this. It goes with relationships as well. If I meet someone and they tell me I had bad cards dealt to me or they complain about a relationship, I tell them all the time, you don't have to tell me verbally that you consent to it, but just your tolerance of the situation lets me know that you accept it. So if you are ready to change your life and you're tired of accepting things from how they are, just please raise your hand for me, please. Because I tell people all the time, when it comes to building business success, it's mostly about leadership.